Hi again, this is Dave Yance with the Heating Refrigeration Program here at Kansas City, Kansas Community College Tech Center. Tonight, what we're going to take a look at is changing a flame set, or a flame ignition component, which is what fires the furnace, and they do have a tendency to burn out. So we're going to take a look at how to remove and replace one of these igniters. Back here, when you buy an igniter, you'll notice it comes in a box, and the box is very well foamed insulated to protect the igniter inside. There's two styles. This is the round style and you can see it's cut out to where it lays in that foam to protect that igniter from breaking. The second style of igniter again is wrapped in very well foam packed but this one here is a little different shape but both igniters do the same thing. They glow bright red, and then when the gas is turned on, it goes across here, and this is what ignites the gas, so we have a flame. Uh, so it'll be one of these two styles. They're very, very fragile. This carbon piece here will break. It'll shatter like glass, so you have to be very careful not to bump it when putting it in or taking it out, and we try not to touch this with our hands. The oil residue will absorb into the carbon and cause the igniter to burn out quicker. So we'll want to be very careful in handling that igniter. And now we'll go to this furnace here and see about removing it. This is a Nordine furnace and we'll take the door off. We will turn the power off to make it safe for us to work in here. The igniter is mounted right up here. And so once again, all we need is our quarter inch nut driver. We'll reach up in here and unscrew this quarter inch screw The igniter comes down and out like this. There was two screws holding this in there. Now there is one more here that I can remove. And that releases the igniter from the mounting bracket. This igniter here is this one here that I would put in for replacement. The two wires coming down are just bare wires and they are wire nutted to the circuit board and that's where this igniter receives its power from to operate. So Right here, where you see this black electrical tape, is where we have wire the wires together. We would untwist those, take the new one, put the wires together, twist it. Now, normally, I would use wire nuts on here, not black electrical tape. But again, this is kind of an indication of a person who has put the, this in that didn't quite do it correctly. Uh, but anyhow, so we would use wire nuts here. Again, we want to be careful not to touch the carbon part. We take the bracket, we mount it over here. We'll take the screw, get it to where it'll lay in the hole. Take our nut driver, or quarter inch nut driver, and tighten that screw 
up. Now, we take the entire bracket assembly and we will very carefully feed it back up through the hole in the furnace. And when we get it up there, we'll take our screws Now we take our quarter inch nut driver and we tighten the mounting screw here. And then we take our second screw and we put it in the back mounting slot like that. And that re replaces the igniter. Uh, not really hard to do. These igniters usually will last maybe four or five winters and then they have to be replaced. Uh, that igniter will probably cost you about $30, $35. But that's what fires your furnace. So there's really not much to it. Uh, it's fairly simple and a job very doable.